Today, we are going to practice making comparisons in English. However, because people really like to comment about my appearance, no, I did not get a haircut. My hair is still right here. So, no questions about did you get a haircut. As I said, today we are going to learn about making comparisons, showing that two or more things are different. And because I grew up in Washington, D.C., then lived in Bangkok, Thailand for 10 years, then returned to the United States for six months, and now I have just returned back to Bangkok, Thailand for a trip, I'm going to use the things that I have noticed about Washington, D.C. and Bangkok, Thailand to give you some examples of how to show that things are different. The first one everybody can probably guess. The weather. The temperature. Bangkok, Thailand is hot. Washington, D.C. can be very, very hot in the summer, but it's not hot all year round. So I say that Bangkok is much hotter than Washington, D.C. because it's hot year round. Every season is hot. You can see a lot of old buildings and old temples in Bangkok, but the office buildings, the movie theaters, the shopping malls, the subway system in Bangkok, Thailand are all much bigger, fancier, newer, and more convenient than they are in Washington, D.C. And one of my favorite things about Bangkok is that people are much quieter and much more respectful when in public places. In Washington, D.C., there are always young people being loud, rude, and aggressive in public places, and that just doesn't happen at all in Bangkok. And I'll combine that with the fact that you feel much safer in Bangkok. When you go outside at night, you don't have to worry about the things that you worry about in Washington, D.C. You don't have to worry about getting robbed or getting shot or other violent crimes. My least favorite thing about Bangkok is the air quality. The air pollution here is much worse than it is in Washington, D.C. When I returned to the U.S., one of my favorite things was how beautiful the sky is and how easy it is to breathe the air. However, let's balance that with one of my absolute favorite things about Bangkok, and that is how easy it is to get food at any time of the day or night. No matter where you are or what time it is, you can almost always walk outside in Bangkok and find something to eat. Whereas in Washington, D.C., it's pretty hard to find food after midnight. And finally, I think that a lot of Thai people are waiting for me to say that Thai people are friendlier. But I don't actually think that's true. Thai people and American people are both friendly, but they're friendly in different ways. I think that most Thai people are more patient, more polite, more respectful, and they smile more than American people do. However, I think that American people are more likely to start a conversation with someone that they don't know or help someone that they don't know if they see them having a problem. So yeah, I don't think that either city is better. I think that each one has its own advantages and its own disadvantages. But that's not what's important. What's important is that hopefully you took some notes about the language that I used so that you can use it to practice making your own comparisons. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.